Okay. If I can make a point of this, uh, se tiver alguém no Brasil que não entende inglês, por favor, depois me fala para eu começar a falar mais em português, tá? Can I make a point about this? When you go back in a jingle, when you go to the back foot, it's like redrawn from the game, yeah? So we have this idea of jogo de fora, né? Jogo de dentro, jogo de fora. Uh, the idea of jogo de fora means when you come out of the game. And one cannot live without the other. Okay, so you need those two energy in your game. Jogo de dentro, jogo de fora. Sair de jogo, entrar em jogo. Uh, and, and it's to know when you're doing what. If the game is asking for jogo de dentro, let's not talk about now when do I know what the game is asking. Let's just, for time's sake, let's just say, if the game is asking for jogo de dentro and you're not aware of that, that could be seen as wrong. Uh, but at the same time, if you don't know when to go out of the game, then that also could not serve you any purpose. There are many, many times where you need to go out, do a jogo de fora. So, so the opposite is also true. So when I think about going back here, when I think about going back here, basically I'm taking a distance. Of, oh, I'm taking a little distance here. From, okay, you know, sometimes that could be a pause in the game. Yeah. At the same time, when I'm really forward here, you can see how energy is charging here. Whoa. Wow. You can see that charge of energy forward here. So let's just think a little bit about this and let's do a couple of movements to warm up using these two different energies of out and in, out and in. Okay? Let's go. Like a mini half of Jahaya, <laughs> like just a faint, soma filter, okay? We'll go back. Go back. And we'll go back. You can see the power comes from here. Relax. Wait now, I can even play. Yeah, so back here. Here. Okay, let's think about forward now. So we are forward back. Now I'm straight, I'm straight there, you see? I'm straight into that half of the high. Keep the energy here and let your feet move out. Like my foot just appears there. Foot first, body after. Foot, body. What a nice feeling. Just pose there a second. So, pensa que o pé vai primeiro, depois o corpo. Foot, body. See this? Foot, and then the body goes. This is another energy here because here, I go for that half jaw high. Let's go for the half jahai here, and then we come back around this way and open. Beginners, I go for the half jahai here. The front foot goes back, yeah? And then I turn around and open. When I open, I bring my feet forward. So I turn around, as I open, I bring my feet forward. The beauty about this is as you bring your body forward, you can you can go side to side more. So when I go here, boom, straight away I can. Can you go forward, but think of going that way? So your body really takes a nice turn here, like. You see, I'm going straight into that. Let's work this a little bit on the drill. So we're working just the quality of this movement now. Go forward and open, forward and open. So we are here, and we go forward and open. Yeah, come back, and forward and open. Get quite 
fight inside your body here. Don't fight inside the body. And hold it open. And I am literally dragging my feet. Yeah? Think like a handstand, a banana. Schema if you need to from the schema and then from that half to higher. It's a, such a beautiful transition needs to be to be in a skiver. It's like because I come back up, so it's here and then you kick. Let's think of that a little bit, yeah? So we go here and then I'm coming up here and centering. So it's like I'm off balance, I find my balance, and then I kick. Eu tô fora do equilíbrio, eu acho meu equilíbrio, e aí eu dou o golpe. Só que eu faço isso com transição. So it, it looks very much like this, but really, I'm coming back here before I kick. Okay, let's work on this. So we go, um. Dois. Behind, and then I just fall. Look, set, kick, go behind, and then just fall. Wait, behind, nove, dez. Okay, very nice. So let's go back to our first idea. We go here. Oh, here, and then we charge here, boom, we turn around, we open, we esquiva, we come back with the half the high. Já tá começando a sequência aparecer, the sequence is appearing, but the sequence now coming out of the drills, and coming out of the ideas, so we are working really back from within the sequence, if that makes sense. So let's go, first idea is the charge of energy. In that jingle, yeah? Now I go back to the same side. To the right. Then I kick. G. Now we're gonna go left. So I go left, as I turn around now, I go left. Then I go right. Where do I go? Right. How about we jump here? Thing before the body goes first here and come back drag your feet but a little like then it's just a little happy boom yeah just a little boom minha música vai calma vai calma Vai trabalhando aí na sequência. Yeah. I can remember very clear 
the energy that some of the mass is putting that for and it's a real build up like it's a real build up of energy let's work a little bit more on this remember to drag your feet okay when you come out of here here think of a banana look really i'm even going like here so it's a really nice here okay so we go here from that into that half your high Let's go. A Três, três, 
There's something here about that leg. So if we go here, it will bring it just here. Yeah, so it's like. I quite like that. I like this now. There's something there about. It's like. So. If we go, igual eu vou para cá. Agora, quando eu voltar, aqui é como se fosse fazer um macaco, like a macaco. The only thing stopping me from doing a macaco is that I haven't changed the hand. So if I'm relating to you guys, it's here, joga para cá, e aí volta de novo, ó, come back again. But this time, we simulate a rasteira here. Someone is taking your right foot. You just let your leg go. Like if I'm gonna just look like that. Now the good thing about this is that beginners, this is so good for beginners because it's working with style, but the, the movements are not hard to remember, which means you can continue like the drill, you continue doing the movement, and this style should shine through that. That's what I think will happen. So let's see. Obviously, for the advanced, a bit more attitude, like, whoa, that, shum, né? Hum, hum, uah, hum, hum. Para os mais avançados, põe um pouquinho de atitude no movimento, né? De personalidade, então é, uah, hum, uah. Né? Então, eu vou descer aqui. E joga para trás. Eu tô aqui, ó, quadril. Quando eu voltar, eu vou esticar aqui. Nessa posição. Aqui eu vou voltar no... Vou trocar essa perna com a rua. Really not hard, ok? Let's do it together. I'm just gonna do a few now, ok? Vai go. Here, let's mark. And here. That's loud. Quadril. Joga de novo. Ó. Agora eu vou, I'm going to recover this movement here. Here. Ok? Esquivei. Voltei. I love this standing up here. Não é difícil, não. It's really not hard this standing up. What you do is, when you do the au, you land, au, you land, and you bring the other foot. Olha só. Eu fiz o au aqui. I land, and then I go step, and bring. So the foot that you land, land, step, close. Land, step, close. Land, step, close. Land, step, close. Let's try. So we go. Au. Land, step, close. And that should feel like a kick. Land, step, close. It doesn't really happen. Close. And that's going to really make the body dance. Yeah? When you take the kick away, but the intention is there, that's when you dance more. What a simple way to approach, but really works. Okay, so let's think about this. So we go, boom, boom. Descendo mesmo aqui, melt, voltei, 
E agora aqui, ó. Land, step, close. Linda. Esquiva. Voltei. Melt. Bem abertão mesmo, ó. Volta. E land, step, close. <risos> Let's go from the top. From the top. Yes, from the top. So we go. So go as much as you can with the feet together. Now when you see your back doing this too much, you stop before that. So just work on here. Yeah? And then we're gonna do a jump back. Jump back. Um. Okay? Simples, né? Um. Dois. Três. Beginners, open. So I'm taking all the energy of the jump, but I'm translating to, but it's the same energy. Let's try. As mãos well aqui. Just keep your hands here. They're gonna move a little bit like this, and that's fine. Let's go a little bit. But it's good that you're not doing anything like this. You don't want to mess the movement here. Can you see that? You don't want to mess like... Just keep them there. And your body... Your body resolves the issue. This is quite nice, isn't it? Okay, let's go. So we go here. Proud chest. E. Boom. Oops. Now we go one more. And then we're gonna work the way down. Beginners might wanna go here now. Advanced, we're gonna go there. Keep your body forward. Come up on this foot. Hold. I'm gonna do a banana from here. Just up and down. Beginners want to go here. Advance is going to fall there. 
Go up on this foot. Uh, what about the uh, foot? Foot? So that's the bananera we're going to work today. But this bananera, you really have to think of your foot. It's really kicking. It's really kicking like this. This is a non trivial point. Because if your foot is far from your bum, it's not good for this movement. So I really want to go here. You see, this is not good, and even this is not good. So you want to be doing this movement, very much like this kind of thing here. So it's here. Here you go, kick. You're going to feel very different energy. If you flex your foot, your leg might not straight so much, and that's fine. But you're working with your flexibility. You're not just going, oh, that's straight. You're working here. It's almost like you're trying to kick this way. Yeah? All right, let's work on that. So we go from here, 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 and there. And go up. Now remember your leg close. Here, to go up and down. And then soft knee so you can kick again. Alright, let's go. In. Kick more guys, kick more. Wait. No. Two. Two. More energy. Three. One. Two. Three. No. Stronger. for me é bananeira bananeira tem sido uma benção para mim porque é um movimento tão de capoeira no jeito que a gente faz it's such a capoeira movement in the way that we do that the repetition seems to resemble nothing but the movement itself so it's different than just doing a push-up or sometimes even negative, but 
So something, the dynamics of going upside down, upside down. As Mestre Mago says, capoeira literally takes us upside down. So there's something about this continuous upside down thing that feels to me that more repetition, great, you know, 10, 20, 50, whatever. Yes, great workout, you know. And that's why it's also a blessing because you know, come on, let's keep it between us. But you know, we know us, it's a workout. Yeah, of course, getting strong here. You're not just thinking bananera, bananera. You're thinking your whole because you, you don't have to think anything. You feel, you know. After the bananera that we do with the two legs, your legs are going to burn, né? Hopefully for the right reason because you're, you're putting the right energy in the movement. Let's combine this backwards first, then the charge of energy for our sequence. Now, the coming out can be ponte now. So, when I come out of here, I go from here, for beginners, we're going here, to come back out here, correct? For the advanced, that can be ponte. I'm not so happy about this space into that skiva. Eu não estou muito feliz com o espaço nessa esquiva, so I'm going to change something here. As I go for my esquiva here, can we do something here? I just think it's a bit more like, oh, be more round, you know? Not that the other one is not good, but the other one just needs a lot of space to go. Bah, 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 bah. It just needs a lot of space. So I'm just thinking about going here and then closing, and then there's a turn here, just here, really like a twist, oh, let's twist again, just think of that, that's very much like that, so I'm going, mm. for that half jab, then it's back, close, and then it's skip again, then it's way, fall, <laughs> and then bump, I hope you're doing it with me. Remember now, au. Then we go land, step, close. Land, step, close. We gotta fit a bananera somehow there. Land, step, close. We'll fit that bananera. Okay? So we're gonna go relax, redraw, charge. Mark, gira ou ponte, volta, open, close, just spin here, get the weirdness of the knee, weird, weird alert, I'm attempting to do something more more crazy in there. I'm gonna repeat many times now, you follow me, okay? Let's go. Back. Mark. Fazer 
very devagar for all the beginners to be able to follow the advance can really catch the movement now put your start let's keep slow one two three back redraw relax charge the move move energy mark so we're gonna go to the right okay turn around as you open now right now bring the foot in turn the body raise style style kick go back go forward open now going to the next bend long e fall keep the arm farther back and then just melt the head Voto. Vai pro AU. Step, land, finta. De novo, I'm gonna do twice again slowly. Redraw from the movement. Fora. Charge with energy. Mark. Gira. Go to bridge advance. Volta. Left. Together, use your elbows, kick, go, back, forward, open, mark, fall, melt, derrete, volta, gira, um, dois, três, quatro, very nice. There is an interesting fact about this movement that I discover later, much later in my career. So I'm going to tell you now, which is, this movement is like a tesoura. So you do tesoura de costas, or faz uma tesoura de costas, and this, this movement here, it's not fragile, a tesoura, it's a front tesoura, and it's also a tesoura on the floor, it's like a chamada. There is a game of Mas Cobrinha Verde. You guys must watch this. Mas Cobrinha Verde. Go the book that has a photo of him here. Mm. I'll find for you. And there is a book of Mas Cobrinha Verde. Uh, no, forget. Excuse me. There's a video of Mas Cobrinha Verde. And he does this chamada. It's so beautiful. What you're going to see that is more beautiful is the way he looks. He's like here. But he's really looking. You can see. I remember learning this from Messi Brazil in Guaratinguetá in 2014. Exactly. I was going. I was going to go into that Messi Brazil as well. E também interessante. There is an interesting point, but uh, that magia just reminded me of something else. You can see this in samba. What they call samba de Angola. Você vê também essa 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 movimentação nessa coisa do samba de tá dançando e calling to do a u e aí vai para a cabeçada. Aqui, ó, the person is in front of you, then you're calling here. When they go for the for the AU, que bonito, ó. Já tá numa cabeçada posture. And that comes from Mes Canjiquinha. Canjiquinha, Brasília. Porcenin, magia. <laughs> Não é? <laughs> então é isso. Então tem essa, essa, essa coisa da chamada. E a tesoura também. And I also love... The idea of something that is very martial in one, in one context being very not martial but hidden in another context. Pensa bem o que eu estou falando. Eu adoro essa ideia que uma tesoura pode ser uma tesoura trançada, não tem uma tesoura de costas, ó, que uou, né? knocks the person down. But on the floor it's a different, it's a different universe. It's not to knock you, it's to call you to go and do something. So, tem a tesoura de frente, mas tem essa chamada de tesoura de frente. Isn't that beautiful? Right, I can go on and on and on, but uh, <laughs> essa aula vai tão rápido, né? Okay, let's go for our second bananeira now. Today we're gonna mix things a little bit. So, we're gonna go for bananeira, and then we come back down, do a ponte, go for bananeira, come back down, do a ponte, okay? And then if we have time, which we should, we go back to that sequence, yeah. And we go all night <laughs> talking about this. So we're gonna go for the bananera here. Okay, this is the power bananera. 
power button here because you use your whole body. Make sure a nice strong grip with your fingertips. Here it's fine. And then we go up here. Beginners, just here. And then you're going to turn here. Just this and there. And you go up, down, and you turn. And you come back here. Okay? And then, of course, you can also do that with ponche. So that turn becomes a ponche. All right, let me prepare the camera. So we go from here. If you can go from a full squat, that's good as well. Okay? I'm going to start with beginners and then you guys go straight into ponche. Um, Let's go 
back to our skiba, and then we mark here. Now we're going to use the other leg. One, two. Yeah, two steps. Look. I'm relating to you guys now. So I bring left, right. Let's do that. So we go here, and we go left, right. It's really like climbing up a ladder. Okay. Oh, we're not messing. Oh. Okay. Here. E. Dos. Other side. Vou fazer um. Aí eu vou pisar. Um, dois. De novo. Um. Um, dois. A lot of things come. Pode sair desse movimento aqui, né? Agora, let's try to keep a bit lower. Um. And then I arch more. Dois. On this one here. Yeah. Can we do this back bend and then jump forward? So, it goes like this. Eu vou pisar. Um. Dois. Eu estou indo para trás. E aqui eu vou fazer um pulo. E vou girar para lá. Yeah? Facing you, watch this. Um, dois, três. Com aquelas de rins. E. Ignore the last part. So we go. Um, pisa. Dois, fall. Queda de rins. Vai para trás. Aqui, pode fazer aqui um pequeno algo, For the advance, ok? Let's work this little bit. This little marvelous piece of theater. Let's go. Um. Skid, left. Right. Left. Beginners, hold it there. And then fall, catch. Just a little bit, ok? Safety on the knees. Maybe beginners just stay upright. Advanced arch. Here. Negativa ou queda de rins. Walk back here. And then here, just do a little au. Little au. Okay, let's repeat a few times without stopping. Because unfortunately, time is running out. So we go left, right, back, in. Here, here, change, here. Oh, I like that. Other side. Um, and we go, dois, três. Then here I'm going to fall back. E, catch the weight. Um, land. Use the landing leg here. And then here's where you turn. And where are we going? Left or right? Left. Um. Dois. Três. E. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. And then here, chain up. For my own. Other side. E. No. Is that? No. This way. E. Um. Dois. Três. Jump. E. Dois. Três, switch leg, flick into the elbow. I know there's not much space here. Sequence. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> New movement, new movement. Um, dois, um, dois. Ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what? what did I just do? <laughs> 
I don't think I've ever done that in my whole life. <laughs> I went, <laughs> I literally went up into the Awu guys. Halfway in the Awu, I was thinking, I think I'm too good. <laughs> and because the Atabaki is trying to tell me something, because I hit the Atabaki early on, I went, don't go, don't go anymore. But then, I couldn't just, you know, have no style. So I, but for just do a scream. Now, because I always think, I always think, what would Mesty blah 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 do in this situation? Yeah, and I just fall off someone and I just went, Woo! Woo! Eita, nós, vambora! Five minutes! Five minutes, I don't see control. Green drum. So if there is one movement I want you guys to remember, just to finish the class, it's when we go for this skiva and we close. There's something about this that is very beautiful because it's very introvert. So if I just show you closer here, it boom, boom, and then it's like boom, blues. You can have a little, we'll go with that at home. I'm going boom, blues. You see? So it builds this really natural path into the movement. Okay? Bananera, we spoke about this foot way up. And then, because this, you're going to use this to kick. Going to use this to kick. And then we spoke about the power into the point. And...